All right, so basic, do you want, okay, Robert Jones for um, radius ulna fracture. Place stirrups, medial and lateral, unless there are wounds present. Wounds are present, do not place stirrups and wounds. Use tongue depressor to make life easier for yourself. Do not stick tape to the patient's pads. Start with roll cotton at the foot. Wrap around, pull snug, as tight as you can get it. This material will tear before it gets too tight. Radius ulna fracture, you must immobilize joint above and joint below the fracture. To stabilize the fracture, we will need to go above the elbow. In this case, Robert Jones has a lot of layers of padding to compress to immobilize the limb. So we will start with our second half wrap. Pull nice and tight. Make sure when you get proximal, you abduct your patient's limb in order to get your bandage far enough past the elbow to give proper support. Notice this is getting pretty clunky, but we are gonna compress it. It will shrink in size significantly. We're gonna use one more of our half rolls here for our little dog. Okay, now that we have a nice, thick, evenly padded layer, we're gonna start with our stretch gauze. There's multiple types of stretch gauze. You just wanna make sure on this that you pull even. I recommend using your roll and holding your roll to tighten. That will give you a little bit of leverage because you're gonna be tightening quite a bit. You can see that you have to pull kind of against yourself. So grab the limb, grab the roll, and you will pull very snug. It's very important when you do this layer that you make it even. All the tension should be the same from the bottom where the feet are to the top above your elbow. The patients are more comfortable with an evenly compressed bandage. All right, so notice we, we kind of cut that down in size by compressing. So at this point, to make a true Robert Jones, we probably need to add another layer of our padding. And we'll pull that snug again, just like we did in the beginning. Try to get that to lay down a little bit flatter. And we will go back again with our stretch gauze to see how much we can compress it again. So the goal is to make this nice and thick and difficult for your patient to move, basically. This is good on some of our really large breeds, giant breed dogs, where it's difficult to um, find a splint that fits them. So I think we're doing pretty good here. Pull as tight as I can today. All the way back down. Okay. I think we got pretty big bandage here. We'll just hold on to that. So next, we're gonna take our stirrups and remove them from the tongue depressor. Take it, you'll twist it over at the foot so it can stick back down to the padding. Same thing with the other side. Now it'll stick to the medial side. Your vet wrap is going to go on still somewhat loose. And we'll wrap it around, making sure we cover all of our stretch gauze and our roll cotton. This will help with dirt and just general life and it will keep your padding clean and in place a little bit more. This doesn't need to go on tight on your small animals. All right, and we'll just tear that there. 
We'll start with this. Notice it's a little chunky. If you could feel it, I promise it would be firm. And that's it. 